This is a Cherokee purple. These three plants here. Waiting on those. Can't wait to try them. A lot of tomatoes yet to turn red. It's been hard to wait for them to turn redder when picking them like this. What is this little visitor? I had seen a lovely, about two and a half, three inch long green praying mantis out here on that vine in the middle of the screen about a week ago. And I've come out here and looked for her every time just to see if I if she's stayed, hopefully she is somewhere in here. She's very well camouflaged. Initially I thought it was weird that a leaf was blowing when the rest around it wasn't moving. And then I realized, ah, it's a praying mantis. I didn't have my camera with me. But hopefully she's still out here somewhere. The lamb's ear has, gone, has bolted. Is there a purpose for this plant other than just it's a interesting plant? It's pretty. It reminds me of the sage. How it uh, flowers and seeds. Look at that. I have still not planted anything in this bed, and obviously I need to weed it. So. Again, my lamb's quarter, or pigweed, or duckweed, is, is a, seems to have a lot of names. And it is tasty, but I don't think, it does not not remind me of spinach. The, the texture is like a spinach leaf, but the taste is not. So I hope to harvest some soon and make a uh, uh, Korean version of greens. I think the Yuzuki beans are done. At least that bucket is. And a couple plants in there. And we're dump the soil and rework that with the stuff in the tumbler and and hopefully not have to use miracle Grow on these again. That's the original broccoli plant. And look at it, more side shoots all over. And of course the basils are bolting. We had a really good rain the other night. I hoped it was going to rain some more yesterday, but it didn't, so I need to water today. They're flowering, but they're not making new um, tomatoes. Got some down there. This is a mortgage lifter. this little beastie. Again, it's on a mortgage lifter. Pretty sure that's a spider. So I'll leave her alone. These are the parsnips. And they're supposed to taste better if they overwinter in the ground. So it looks like this will occupy this space for some time. 
good thing about the rain is it kept the flies from mate. I mean the ants, the fire ants from mating. Can you see these giant holes, mounds? That's for breeding winged ants to come out. They can't come through these little holes like these ants are doing. Or in a regular mound. This is all same col one same colony. That may be from the same colony too. But they're making big holes all over the place trying to get the mating ones, the winged males and the queens, a safe passage out. So I've been disturbing any of the mounds that I see that are big, like that. Just to make it a little bit harder for the breeding to commence. These are what I call sprite melons. Early silver line. An Asian melon that I got from rareseeds.com. There's one. That's kind of misshapen because of where it's at. That one's a little bit better. As you can see, I've got several. Uh oh. Oh, that's the bloom end. Interesting to see how this develops. Not the best place to plant these, but at least I got some going. There's a couple of the gourds right there. I don't think that one has any yet. The other ginger came up, so they both survived. It's a pretty looking plant. I'll soon pull these. I don't know what variety these are. My grandson brought the seeds from his uh, kindergarten class. <laughs>